Afternoon, everybody. Okay, so Tracy has set me a challenge. So this afternoon, I am allowed to use three colours. One stamp set and black and white. Three colours of ink, one stamp set and black and white. So <laughs> I've got, I can't lie, I have been a little bit cheeky already. And I am... Um, the three colours I've picked are my primary colours. But we'll go into that a little bit more. I'll just wait for a few more people to come on. Um, and then we'll get started. Okay. So. Give us a thumbs up or something or say hello so I know you're there. Right. <clears throat> so today I'm going to be working in my book it's a book i think somebody said this in at the range it's an a4 drawing pad with 120 gsm cartridge paper but it's a really good weight and it takes water techniques really well um so i have been doing various different things in it because it's just a really nice um like sort of paper cardstock to work on so i'm just playing with it really it's been really lovely. So, I mean, that's paint pens and then that sort of ink tents, I think it was. I can't remember there was a video for it. And that was Dilution's paint. So, I'm just really enjoying playing on it. So, that's what I'm going to work on today. So, yes. Yeah, so, Tracy sent me a challenge. She said I was allowed three colours of ink pad plus a black one and a white pen. Okay. To use. So... That's where I'm going. But, 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 um, what I've done is I have picked Blueprint Sketch, Abandoned Coral, and Mustard Seed as my three colours. And I think you'll all know why. These are the three primary colours. So what we can do is we can mix and mosh these to make all the other colours we want. So I am cheating just a little bit but i kind of see it as imaginative instead of cheating okay so we've got our three primary colors that we are going to use and we're going to create a sort of like and and that's not just the challenge though that's what i was allowed to use in terms of a challenge but what the challenge is actually wants me to do is to create a flower garden okay so i've i've got a few different stamps um i could make a flower garden with but the ones i haven't yeah i am a cheater sorry um but the ones i haven't i've got some that i haven't had a go with yet and that's the um jane royston's ones um so i've decided to set myself a challenge really and just use this one which is the let your dreams blossom um i'm literally just going to use this stamp set and that's it so i thought tracy might forgive me for cheating with the colors if I do just use one one stamp set. Okay, <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put that to the side and we're going to get a sort of colour wash on here. Um, so I'm going to basically segment it off. So I've got the abandoned coral at this end, then the mustard seed, and then the blueprint sketch, and then we'll get our secondary colours coming down the middle um, of these. Okay, so we'll go with... First of all, I'm going to spritz the card with more water. And that's just going to enable it to move a little bit. Okay. I am doing this long ways, but when we're stamping, we are going to do it landscape. Okay. So I'm just going to spritz that with some water. And with my paintbrush, we're just going to add on our abandoned coral. Because we just want to get that on there okay and then i'm going to be using then my mustard seed to come in that's lovely i love that i'm gonna just bring in what's left of our abandoned coral there oh yes I love that. We're just going to work our way down. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with my blueprint sketch at the bottom. 
I'm going to work that into my brush. I'm going to need a bit more than that. Now, I have to say, this is quite an abused brush. It's all flickety. But that's okay. <clears throat> I'm about as good at cleaning my brushes as I am at cleaning my templates. So, yeah. Not, basically. There we go. So we're going to add a bit more. I'm going to need a bit more spritz on my cardstock as well. So we're going to keep that down there. I'm going to bring those together, sort of just to create that watercolour rainbow, almost. Okay. So I hope you're all okay. I sort of jumped straight in today, didn't I? I usually have a bit of a of a natter first. Um, it's Friday. Get that Friday flea feeling. I have to be honest, I'm still getting that Friday feeling. But as others who do craft shows and stuff will tell you and regularly do weekends, we do still get that Friday feeling. Even when we work in the weekend, the Friday feeling is still a thing. So I think that's why, even though, you know, we're in lockdown, you still get that Friday feeling. something to look forward to isn't it just friday made it through another week okay so you can see how well i mean it's a 120 gsm card so like i say i'm sure this pad came from the range and when i was asking somebody on one of my groups the other day i think it was because i said i couldn't remember where i got it there so they should have saw it there so that sounds about right to me so i'm just going to give that a quick wash wafty waft with the heat tool i have got my quieter heat tool out now um it was in the bottom of my tote that i take to and from hachanda um but obviously i'm not going there for a little bit so because i usually just have my noisy one in my craft room um but as i'm doing more videos and more tutorials i was like ah, i better get the quiet one out okay so i'm gonna roll that back it's bending a little. There we go. So this is going to be the basis for what's going to happen next. Okay, so I'm going to add on... Yeah, so I'm going to use one template and one stamp set. So this is the template I'm going to use. And I love it because it's regular, but funky, but elegant. And it's just... It's called Bakewell, and it's just really pretty. Um, and it's one of my favourites because you can doodle through it, you can do paste through it, you can do paint through it. I think I used it on that layer I was showing you earlier. You know, it's behind the leaves there. It's just really cool. And I've used it on a tag. I think I've stuck that to the wall. Hang on, here we go. So yeah, I've doodled through it on that tag as well. So that's one of those. I'm not just telling you I love it. I actually do love it. It's awesome. Okay. <clears throat> So, but as you can see, this, the, and I will say, if you look how dirty it is, I spent about an hour scrubbing it earlier. I've just realised I've left my sounds on. Just let me turn them off. Sorry about that. Okay. So, is that in the right sort of place or am I? No, I don't know. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work through this template here. I'm just to add in and it's just to give the background a little bit of texture because Jane's stamps have got a lot of detail so I don't want to overcook it um but I, but I feel it needs something but that's just probably because it's me and I always like to add things in right so I'm going to go with the mustard seed okay so I'm gonna work that into my foam a little bit now this isn't going to be like a super duper regular really good coverage i'm just sort of hitting and missing so it's almost you know what i'm going to do is i'm just going to match it up so i say sort of level sort of level she says okay just work our way across the page but yeah just patchy so it's almost like a 
worn, worn. See, in that one, in that colour, it almost looks like corn. Like a cornfield. It's just awesome. Right. Let me match it up. There we go. But because I'm doing it patchy, if you, if I don't match it up perfectly every time, it's absolutely fine. Need to leave overnight. Oh, I haven't got the patience for that sort of nonsense. <laughs> I don't leave anything overnight. The only thing I leave overnight is if I am doing acrylic paint and then I want to use my white pen detail on. I then leave it overnight. Um, a lot of people that have problems with white pen like I may have done a couple of weeks ago, um, is because they've tried to go on to paint that's touch dry. Now, even if it's touch dry, it's not dry right through to the middle of itself. So if I want to add on white details to a journal page or something that I've used for my Delusions paint on, I will leave it overnight. But for something like this, now I'll waft it and bend it back and just keep working on it until the fibre's loose and it's absolutely fine. Okay, I don't have the patience unfortunately it's like parchment craft i love parchment craft i think you have to be really talented to do parchment craft but i also think you need the patience of a saint and that is something i do not have right so back to it so i'm going to be using like i say this stamp set from jane this is jane's first release and this one is called dreams blossom um and I love it. And I haven't had a chance to play with Jane's stamps yet. So this is literally my first go. I've stamped it a couple of times about an hour ago to make some um, cut-out bits in case I wanted to add them on at the end. But the, today is the first chance... And I've cut some um, masks, but this is the first chance I've had to play with it. So it's quite exciting, really. Okay. So onto my Versafine. And I'm just going to stamp these in a couple of different places. So, like I say, this is because Tracy, I'm going to turn them around just for a little bit, um, challenged me to do like a flower garden. So this is a slightly funky variation of that. Um, yeah, so we'll go there and one there. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some more. So I've done some little masks for them. Now, because Jane has made each petal, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry different with the pattern in it because it is hand drawn so it is you know it's not perfectly even which i love but because each petal is drawn if you are putting something like a mask on it is actually really easy to line up because each petal is different so you can just line it up see that's not that way okay so that's my masks on there. So I'm just going to ink it up again. And stamp that one there. And then we've got those two in the front. So then I'm just going to rotate it. Is that that one? No, it's that way. Okay, and then, nope, nope, it's that way, and then I'm just going to use my masks so I can add in sort of ones behind, let's put one actually, I'm going to make that one go in a little bit of a different direction, they're just so funky. And cool oh love it absolutely love it okay i'm gonna add in one more maybe two i might do one down there and that one there 
someone has just started mowing but it sounds like they're having a row with their mower rather than mowing with it right and then and speak of the devil there's Janie hello my love right so sorry I am trying to concentrate on what I'm doing um so I will try and keep up with comments if not I will come back later and I will go over the comments and respond to you all then okay I promise Right, so I'm just going to put that one in there. So, there we go, the mask came off with that one. And look, a lovely row of Dreams Blossom. Absolutely fantastic. Now, in Jane's set here, I'm going to try and put that on the right way. She's also got, I'm just going to move so you can see it on here. This sort of stem in these leaves and other fronds and other things that you can add on. So I'm just going to add some of those in. So I'm going to take the stem, but I wanted to put these in first and then place the stems and other things around it rather than try and put the stems in and then add them up. But, you know, if you find it easier the other way, absolutely. You should do that. And put that one there. And then I'm going to do the same. I'm going to rotate it around slightly as I go to different things. So they're all slightly, slightly different. Just adding in a little bit of extra. And I think there. Right, I am going to need those masks back, aren't I? Because if I'm going to... Nope, 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 nope. No. You've also got, and had I looked at them earlier, the three circles in the middle. That's actually probably the quickest way to line these up. Okay. Because I want to put a stem into that one, which I'm going to need to go behind this petal. So if I mask it over, I'll put that on and then extend that down slightly. Ping that one off. And then... that one on there oh this is so lovely i'm so enjoying it this is fab right and sam is going to be really jealous because she hasn't got any of jane's stamps to play with yet but i do and let's face it making big sisters jealous that's just a, the per, one of the perks of being a little sister really <laughs> okay so No, nope, that's not right. Dee, 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 dee. There we go. Well, it's that one I need to mask, isn't it? Because I need it coming out of there. Right. Let me just think that up again. And then this one on the end as well just that way again i think i'm doing the wrong one because it's this one i need to mask i need to sort of hmm just actually i'm now wondering i oh, do i need to mask both In fairness, I can just go. No, I'm gonna actually go a little bit over it because it is in front of it, so that's fine. All right, so we're gonna put that down there. And add on a little bit extra. Okay, so there we have our sort of 
guide and they're almost like pinwheels as well i think that's what's so great about this stamp it's so usable because it's got the sort of pinwheel look over it which is awesome all right i'm going to go back in now and i'm going to add in some of these other elements that james put on i think i'm going to put on some of these with the three frondy bits on top just a couple and then i'm gonna add in some of the others so i'm gonna put that in on a bit of an angle and that one going the other way and then that one just the tops On just the tops coming out the side and then this sort of awesome leafy one i will say these would be really wicked as well because you could add them in and add in more petals to the ones you've got as well but i'm going to use them to make sort of like the grass or the growth underneath I'm just going to put that one there. I'm coming out that way. It's just so pretty. I love it. Right. So what is the favourite thing you guys have made? Oh, sorry. What's your favourite thing you've made over the past couple of weeks? I really want to know. Because I think the thing is, we're all... <clears throat> trying to feel productive i will say do not feel any pressure to feel productive all we're doing at the minute is just trying to get keep going keep on trucking and i think if you're doing that you are winning already i have to say so i'm just going to give that a quick whirl for the heat gun before we start painting and coloring them in okay i want to make sure that burst fine is dry okay Right, now I'm going to go in with the same oxides that we used because I'm only allowed these three colours and we're going to start adding in some different colours. Now, like I say, because I have been a little bit cheeky with the rules um, of my challenge, um, we can mix them, of course, um, but, you know, you can also keep them as one. And I also think something like this would look really, really pretty in monochromes blacks and whites and you know i think that would be absolutely beautiful so i'm just going to go in with my abandoned coral first i'm going to paint up some of these petals okay and then in that one in the abandoned coral and I'm going to go in here with my white pen in a little bit and I am going to highlight and then I think I'm going to do this one in the abandoned coral and I think what this does once you start colouring them um, it becomes more and more obvious which ones are at the back and which ones are at the front. Beautiful. It's so lovely when something you've been looking forward to, to doing goes as you wanted it to. And it doesn't happen all the time, does it? Some days it just doesn't happen at all, in actual fact. I'm just going to paint in. That mustard seed. Again, all of these, everything we've done will work with your regular distress as well as, as your oxides. Um, the reason I chose the oxides today was because I was going to be layering up the colours and because I didn't know which colours I'd want to go on top of what, I wanted to make sure that you'd still be able to see them if I was going from dark to light as well as the light to dark. Okay. Sorry, I feel... I, is that bit still in yeah okay so we're just gonna go 
And then, oh dear, that's noisy, isn't it? I don't know if you can hear it, to be honest. But it is noisy. Right. So I think that's that for those. And, hmm. I know what this party's missing. Bit of purple. Look purpley. Oh, I need something a little bit redder than abandoned coral to create a purple. But we're going to give it a go anyway. I get the feeling the next time Tracy gives me a challenge, she's going to be very, very specific. So that I don't get cheeky and run away with the colours again. Okay. Hot cross buns made from scratch. Nice. Dave and the girls, just before I came in here, were making Rocky Road. So I'm looking forward to that when I'm finished. Okay, so I'm just going to turn that round. Need a bit more abandoned coral. We've got a bit blue, and I'm never really sure about blue flowers. You know, unnaturally blue flowers. You know, if you because if you think about it, all naturally blue flowers they do have that purpley sort of hue to them. They are, and yes, I know these are not exactly naturally flowers, but I don't know why it still matters. Um, yeah, I love like bluebells, things like that, but they, I think they do have that sort of hint of purple to them. Add that in, and then into this last one here. over there so that's starting to come together really nicely okay so now i'm going to need a green okay because i want to do these ones down here a really cool sort of green and the nice thing about this is you can really tone it um because we're mixing the colors rather than using pre-done ones so you can just by adding a bit more blue or adding a bit more yellow, you can just change the tone slightly, which is what we're after. You've got bluebells coming through in the garden. Beautiful. Okay. I'm, I'm, I, am, I have to say, I'm actually really happy with how this is starting to look. You know, there's lots... You've got the detail of Jane's drawings there, which is so pretty. Okay, so I'm actually going to go for a bit more yellow, just with a hint of green, so it's almost a tiny, tiny bit of blue. So it's quite yellowy to go into these ones. So that just so that it's it's a different look. It's almost, you know, I'm trying to think of the word. A more acid, that's the word, a more acidy green than than these. Okay, so we're just going to work that in. And then work that in there. Excellent. Right. Okay, so I'm going to just wipe that up i know the whole point of working on my blending mat is so i can mop that up with tags and other pages and so on and so forth but because of how much i've been doing over the past few weeks in here i've literally got unfinished tags coming out of my ears um so i'm not mopping everything up at the minute which i know is terrible and i'm a bad human but you know it is the way things are so 
going to go in with that. Okay, now I'm going to grab my white pen. Now, I will say something very strange happens whenever I do a live in the Crafting All Brands together. I have three or four very reliable white pens. I have the Ink Essentials White Opaque, the Signo Uniball, and then the Hybrid Gel, all three of which never let me down until I do a live in the Crafting All Brands together. So <laughs> I'm going to go in with my white pen in the hope that it will not let me down like it normally does when I'm talking to you guys. Okay. So I'm going to work into that one. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to pick out some occasional leaves because I've got those cut out ones to highlight. So I'm going to pick out just a couple of these just to lighten them up ever so slightly because I mean they're in the, in the palest part of the colour anyway but it is just to to lift them out ever so slightly Absolutely. I do actually have another white pen as well but is the white linen dilutions paint pen um, but I, in all honesty I lost it and I've only just found it um, <laughs> so um, I haven't got back around to using it yet and when I say I've just found it I mean like two minutes before I went live I was looking in a different pot for something and I was like there it is where's that been because I was looking for it the other week and could not find it at all right so I'm just going to go around with my white pen just adding in some detail um, and I will say Knowing exactly what I'm like, I will go in, you know, who knows if by the time I'm finished with you, if I'm finished with it, I might just take it and go and sit down and keep adding more to it. Oh, here's a good question for you. When you are in your craft room crafting, do you have music on? Do you have the telly on? Like, you know, either like the shopping channels or do you have something on Netflix or Amazon or, you know, Sky or just, you know, do you, do you, what, do you have things on your tablets and TVs or do, you, or do you prefer listening to music? If you cut between the petals, do they make them butterflies? They could. They could absolutely. What I have done, I'll bring these in now actually then, is I have cut the spiky parts of the petals to add these on in places right but what I will say is if you look at the design I'm gonna lift it up actually if you look at the design of it whereas I have chosen to pick out the spiky bit you could also pick out this bit and leave the petals behind it's sort of an optical illusion as to which one's at the front in in the in the stamp because you could use because either or could be at the front so it's totally up to you so mainly music local radio hachanda hochi but you can get distracted <laughs> absolutely and, and and that's and that's the thing it's having something on that helps you with your creativity but doesn't slow you down for me it does depend what mood i'm in sometimes i have um hochi on in the background other times it's local radio but i will say we're trying to keep news to a minimum in the house at the minute um but what i, I and, and you know I, I do like to listen to music if i've got if i've got stuff that has to be done i put like um I'll go onto YouTube and put playlists on for sort of as daft as it sounds like exercise music and um, which obviously I don't use for that, but like upbeat things because it sort of gets you into a gets you into an active rhythm. Um, but I'm also I'm a rewatcher. I can watch the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over again. And if I pick something I've seen before to watch. I can um, I 
can picture it in my mind's eye so I don't need to be looking at it to enjoy it. I can I can keep on crafting. Okay. Oh look. Marvellous. Yeah, so and this is the thing, there's so and there's so many like you guys have just said, you know, you've got the Facebook lives on. But in all honesty, with the Facebook lives, I actually set aside time to watch them, even if I'm not watching them live. The reason being is I just get so distracted <laughs> watching what people are doing, I end up actually not making anything. So I do like um so I love watching the lives, but I don't watch them while I'm trying to make something. Because I just get distracted. And what's happening? And there's so many at the minute. So many people are making lovely things and keeping in touch. And it's awesome. So let's take that bit of positivity out of it. But yeah, so I'm just going around with my white pen. Just highlighting some of the front flowers. Okay. Um, to give them a little bit more of a lift you know you could go you could add in more doodles with these with your templates you could even go into here and add in for example a little bit of a faux stitch onto your flowers because Jane's given us that lovely great border on these ones so you could add a gorgeous faux stitch onto there that actually Looks rather magnificent. I like that. Isn't it exciting when you get something new to play with? You're like, yay. New things to play with are fab. Um, because I think as well, when you get a new stamp or a template or something like that to play with, you know, you tend to get out maybe some of your mediums that you haven't had to play with yet. Sometimes it can spark your creativity with mediums and or colours you don't normally use or something like that and that's why it's so much fun so yeah by adding in the little bits of faux stitch on there it's just another detail i am telling you now this is a page that i am going to build i am just going to keep adding little details on i am going to try and stick to the colours the three, the three colours I've set without bringing in extra colours unless I mix them myself. But this is definitely one that I'm going to play with and just keep building on. Because I think there are, I'm just going to add in some white dots here. There are so many possibilities to add to it. Um, and this is why. When I first started really crafting, I was a scrapbooker um, because I love scrapbooking. It was sort of, um, you could buy really pretty embellishments and keep them <laughs> when you'd finished crafting, you know, and it, and it was and it was brilliant. But I believe it or not, I was a really uh, meticulous scrapbooker. Everything had to be, you know, even and balanced and layered and very clean and very neat. I still had lots of pattern papers, but it was very, very clean. Um, and neat and tidy and what actually changed with that were dilution sprays um i saw diane when she very first brought her sprays out and she and it was wonderful and, and she was talking about art journaling and this really allowed your creativity to go because the thing with diane's Thing in any ink sprays, I suppose, is you cannot get exactly the same thing twice. It is near and eye impossible in actual fact because it just it'll move a certain different way. The temperature in the room will affect it a different way. You know the colours will mix slightly differently. Um, and and I was absolutely hooked on them. And it really, I mean, I've always loved stamping. The, my first thing I learned to do was heat embossing, and it's still it's still one of those things today. Whenever I do it, it's like oh, mystical. Um, it's like magic um but the but yeah the art journaling it just was like well this is something really uh more freeing more um open and for one of a better description organic that i can do and play with 
and and just relax almost relax with because it doesn't have to be regimented and neat and you know and and that was sort of what took me off art journaling and my first book that i used to art journaling it wasn't a journal at all it was it was an old ledger and it had really thin sheets of paper that i had to stick together um to use but it was so much fun one of my first big layouts i did um i drew a big pirate skull and it said i wish i was a pirate and there was this big thing that said i wish i was a pirate um but the problem is i get seasick which is true you know anyway sorry that was that was a really random piece of waffle i am so sorry okay so i get the feeling i could just keep doing this all day and why wouldn't you but i know charmaine's coming up this afternoon and she's not going to want me i'm um, eating into her time just because i'm sitting here talking about being a pirate okay so just going to add in some more i honestly don't know where i'm going to stop with the white lines because i love it so i'm just gonna um, what i'm not gonna stop i'm gonna pause with the old white lines for now and i'm gonna go to my 3d foam and i'm gonna cut some little squares for my, for my bigger ones and i'm gonna stick on these cut out bits And like I say, after I cut these out, it was when I noticed that, in fairness, with these flowers, you could do either that bit at the front or the dotty petal shapes at the front. It can go either way. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, that's really funky. That's sort of like very optical illusion-y, which I like very jazzy okay so from there I'm gonna put that one on there and I'm just gonna lift and bend these petals slightly because I might take this page out and mount it so these don't get flat and then this one here Oh, I'm sorry. You're not until four. I thought it was three. I had three in my head. Oops. Oh, well. Where did I get three from? Don't know. I'm going to put that one in there and then I've got a fourth one. Or do I just leave it at three? Three and no, I think I'm going to put this one on and I'm going to put it there. Um, so, yeah, it's just about, isn't it? In the minute, it's just having fun with what you're doing. And the thing about this group in, in all the crafting groups is everyone, I think, is being so helpful and so, you know inviting so if there is anything you want to have a go at and you're like i haven't seen this before and i don't really know how to do it but i'm dying to have a go ask ask i'm a massive believer as in a massive believer and there is no such thing as a stupid question okay because you're only asking a question if you don't know the answer and if you don't know the answer asking the question makes you clever you see um so you know if there's anything you've seen and you're like i'm sure she explained it and this is to any of the guys because i know all the demoers um will be more than happy to answer, answer your questions um i'm just going to lift this up because i'm going to do a sentiment and you know so if there is anything you've seen or you think well that's a basic technique you know let us know because as well again i am sort of speaking for all the the guest livers at the minute sometimes we can get carried away showing something new or something we've just learned or a new product or whatever but if there's anything you think well i actually don't know how to do that let us know well you know we'll always jump on and do a live and help out where we can because that's what we're here for at the minute okay 
so let your dreams blossom very nice so i'm going to how many times have i said so i'm really sorry it is just one of those things i do and i know i do it and i try to not do it and i've got to be honest sometimes the more i try not to do it the worse it gets right so i'm going to take that down there desperately need a new blade for my trimmer it's all a bit feathery that's all right okay and i'm gonna click on there i'm gonna click on there the weather's affecting signal oh no is it is it is it gone rubbish now is it start is that rain starting to come in sorry i'm just working out where i want it to go mm -mm -mm. I'm thinking over there. I'm thinking over there. Right, so I'm just going to get... I'm going to give it a quick waft of my heat tool, actually, because my VersaFine pad is a new one. It's one I've actually been saving. Um, and it's a new one, and I've noticed... Be careful heating on your fingers like that. Um, and it's really, really wet. And I've noticed, even when I'm being careful, I am getting um, smudges on everything. Um, which I obviously I don't really want to do in an ideal world. So I'm thinking there. Okay. Now while that dries, I'm gonna put something heavy on it. Not heavy, but just flat. Okay. <laughs> While that dries, I am also, um, I do want to add in some birds, but I promised to only use one stamp set, didn't I? <laughs> um, right. I do want to add in birds, but I'll feel like I've let myself down. Come on, Tracy, am I, am I allowed to use another stamp set? Okay. Now, you can draw in birds. My mum, Julie, is actually really good at drawing in, like, little little birds. Um, but I am not gifted in that way. <laughs> they never look quite right. Okay, so I'm going to add it. I'm going to actually add into in for a penny, in for a pound. Because on this set, I've got moons and birds. So I'm going to use a moon, and then I'm going to add in some birds. Okay. So I'm going to take the Let Your Dreams Blossom and put it back on my stamp set. See, I'm not as good as my daughter. She cleans as she goes. I don't know where she gets that sort of nonsense from. Okay. I am a firm believer in good stamps. The more you ink them, the more you get. You know, it's step with things like stays on and stuff. Don't leave stays on on your stamps. Clean that off. Um, because it's alcohol based but water based um, inks the more you use them the better you get so I, I, I wipe off like the surface excess um, but I've got to be honest I only actually clean my stamps in terms of soapy water clean um, when they stop sticking to the block up until then nope nope yeah, see, it is a moon too, Tracy, but they're on the same stamp set, so technically it is only one more. You know, not that I'm just bending the rules to make it go however I want or anything like that, of course. So we're going to have the moon up there. Yeah, so my stamps, I just sort of get the excess off. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, and I used the birds last week, I'm sure. So it's just it's just a crossover. <clears throat> <laughs> oh dear. Okay. So then we're just we should do some heat embossing. I never do heat embossing live on TV because it always goes wrong. But I wonder if I'm safe on Facebook Live to do it. Like I said, never do it on TV. 
always, 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 always goes wrong. Not the worst one was when I tried to um, heat emboss directly on MDF, though. I mean, just why? Okay, so I didn't ink up that stamp that but because I didn't realise I would be keeping it on the sheet. But instead of trying to go over it and stamp it again, where I will inevitably make more of a mess, I'm just going to fill that in with my fine liner, which I was told I was allowed to use. So that's not me being cheeky. Okay, and then I need to look for... See, Janice has a theory that when demonstrators go, oh, just let me find, it's because they can't think of what they're going to do. And so they're just giving themselves extra time to think of it but i actually do know what i want to do i want my charcoal pencil so i can go around um but i can't find my charcoal pencil so i'm going to use a fine liner instead okay so we're going to go around I might add in a couple more. Alright, and then I'm going to go pencil to. Oh! Oh no! I was going to say the next the next challenge, yeah, Tracy's going to be like, right, you can use a black ink pad, and that's it, actually. You're not even allowed a, pen, a, a stamp or a pen. You're allowed a black ink pad, and then that's it. I will have deserved it, I think. Right, so I'm just going to add in some stitching. Like I said, she said I was allowed a black pen. So I'm not, you know, I'm not being naughty on this one. I'm just going to add in. Some stitch down here. I'm going to do this on each one. But come on, Tracy. You, you know, a I, I got a flower guard. I think that's quite good. Flower garden. I mean, did you really think you were going to get an actual flower? You know. Like something you can see out your window off me. I don't think you did. I don't think you did. Which is good. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to do some of those lines around the outside as well. But I have a tendency to get distracted, in case you haven't noticed, by what I want to do next. Um, so I'm actually going to finish these little lines first before I do that. As you can see, I move, I move my pad round. I move my project round. Don't turn yourself inside out. Um, because, you know, oh, I'm twisting myself the wrong way. Don't twist that. Turn your bit of paper. Honestly. Easy peasy. Alrighty. Think yourself lucky you didn't get my one. <gasps> Ooh! I'm, I'm, oh, I'm interested now, Charmaine. What is your challenge going to be for today? Look on the bright side, though. If you're a good girl and do your challenge, you'll probably get a nice one next time, whereas I'm going to be in some sort of sin bin. Which I suppose you could argue I deserve. I'm just... Going along here, and bear in mind, when I do these sort of lines around the outside of a project, they're not supposed to be even, they're not supposed to be level, they're not supposed to be a perfect straight line. It's just me, which is good, because they're not. They just sort of frame it, 
a little bit. No. I haven't done some white pen in about 10 minutes, so you know, I'll probably get withdrawal symptoms soon. So I'm just going to turn this around so I can add in a bit of a white hue going around the moon. You know, and you could also, if you wanted to, add in some grey into this, but I really don't want to push my look now. Because, you know, that would just be so rude. Put some on the inside too. Okay. No, I was just about to say for now I'm finished. I'm not. I'm going to add in a little bit of moonlight on the top of my birds. Now I will say my white pen has continued to work just, but it is something when I go live in this group. I think for now, I am done. Um, just paper. Oh, don't do that to me. I'll soon as just have the black ink pad and have to do finger painting. <laughs> one stamp, one ink pad. Okay. We'll, 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 see, we'll, we'll see we'll see what happens okay so i think i am done for now i am going to i'll take a picture of this because it is quite bright it's much brighter than it's coming up on there i'm just going to lift this down to see if this will show you a bit better um the colors and everything on there but i am i'm i'm really happy with that that was really fun and like I said, it was my first go having, my first time having a go with Jane's stamps. Um, and I'm really, see, Jane's on my side with the birds and moons. Um, but, you know, I'm I'm really happy with them. That will not be the last time I play with Jane's stamps either, because I think they are absolutely lovely. Okay, so thank you very much for joining me this afternoon. How was my waffle? About an hour. Sounds about right. <laughs> Sounds about right for me. Okay, guys. Thank you very, very much for tuning in. Um, and, yeah, what I said is absolutely right, though. If there's anything um, you would like to see or if there's anything you think, I want to ask somebody that, either ask on the group or if you don't want to, send a message to one of the admins and they will ask one of us to show you and i'm sure that won't be any problem at all okay thank you very much guys um i hope you have a great afternoon bye